Enjoy smoother communication with electrical contractors with the new riser diagram feature in ConnectCAD 2023. Working with the on-site electrical contractors responsible for pre-installing your cable runs and the needed ducting or conduits requires you to be able to present your plans in a format that they are familiar with and in the correct time window. In the command dialog, choose how you want to annotate the riser diagram. Automatically, manually, or not at all. If you choose to manually annotate the diagram, the new riser diagram will be created with the annotation layer open so that you can start annotating it straight away using data tags. Because riser diagrams are specialized viewports, you can create as many as you need, either by rerunning the command or by duplicating and editing existing diagrams. In many cases, Due to how early in a project you have to provide this information to the electrical contractor, you will need to use your judgment to decide how big each section of ducting or conduit needs to be in advance of completing your system schematic and cable plan. Set up the record to either use manually entered data or as a drop-down list of the ducting and conduit sizes that you have access to. You can group select paths and assign ducting and conduit sizes in your design layers using the OIP data pane to access the record, or by selecting a data tag in the riser diagram's annotation layer and editing the value directly in the tag. If you already have a fairly complete schematic and cabling plan, you can use live data visualization to help you decide ducting and conduit sizing. Set the data visualization to be based on the cable path object's cable area parameter which documents the total cross-section area of cables inside the path. Make sure you set up the data viz to use data ranges based on your available conduit and ducting sizes, and that the ranges use a very heavy line weight to make them easily visible. Then, using a 3D wireframe view, you can see at a glance how big each section needs to be to fit the cables running through it. In addition to riser diagrams, you will also need cabling diagrams to show the electrical contractor the long cable runs that need to be pre-installed in preparation for your team arriving on site, after the walls are closed and there is no more access to the ducting or conduit. In most cases, you will need to lay out these cable runs before you have your schematic complete enough to automatically create all the cables you need. So in ConnectCAD 2023, the Query Cable Route Segment tool has been reworked into the Edit Cables tool, which can be used to add cables to a single cable path section or all the way between two drop points. Once you have chosen where the cables have to run between, select the cable type you wish to add, either from the application defaults or your user folder, and tell it how many cables of that type you wish to add. You can add as many different types of cables as you want, though you should make sure to include any spare runs that will be needed for future system expansion or redundancy. Once you've laid out all of the cables that need to be pre-installed by the electrical contractor, you can create your cable diagrams using the create cabling sheet command. Once the command dialog is open, you define which layer the cabling diagram will use as its source and whether you want to use an existing sheet layer or create a new one to place the diagram on. Next, choose whether you wish to use arc or home run style annotations or a mixture of both using this slider. In most cases, arcs are better for short point-to-point -point runs, and home runs are better for longer runs where using arcs would result in an overly crowded or messy uh, diagram. In addition to creating cabling sheets, you also need to be able to easily track how many of the pre-installed cables have been used as your schematic progresses. The Create Cabling Sheet command helps with this by automatically creating circuits on the spare cabling layer that can then be used as the project progresses. Whenever you need to use one of these pre-installed cables, simply select them and move them to your schematic layer and connect them between the devices. Adding riser and cabling diagrams to your workflow will help ensure efficient communications with your on-site project partners and that your installation proceeds smoothly and on time. 